What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more Hearts of Iron 3, their finest hour, World War I mod, and we're playing as the German Empire. We still own all of France, Belgium, Netherlands, and Denmark. However, we do have a new problem on our hands. The uh, Japanese went ahead and invaded us here in Norway, and uh, it was simultaneous to a Norwegian rebellion. So, now we have to work on trying to take that territory back. And <clears throat> Bitburg HQ here has 686,000 men. They should be able to uh, be able to complete the task, but last episode we also ran into problems with our convoys and our escorts, and so I've got a bunch of escorts that are uh, queued up here in production. We have 108 of those transports uh, and only three escorts, so that's part of the problem. My men are getting, as far as I can tell, let's see if I go to supply map mode here. Yeah, my men are getting some sort of supplies here in northern Norway, but uh, we need to go ahead and get that production rolling so we can uh, better figure out how to supply these guys. Uh, let's make sure... Yeah, so these guys are, are attached to Bitburg HQ, at least. Um, and we are sort of running out of rare materials, which sucks. Yeah, that's going to cut my IC down significantly. You can see that here. Uh, let's bump up. Reinforcement. Research. Supplies. want to make sure all of my men are supplied properly. There we go. And consumer goods needs to go up as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, consumer goods again. Yeah, we're going to cancel the lend lease to the Ottomans and the Bulgarians. Just because I don't want to deal with that slider anymore, man. <laughs> uh, new destroyer advances. Uh, we also started putting in for research of uh, light tanks here. So, we can uh, start producing light tanks. Hopefully pretty soon we're like 10 years behind in that technology. I was just focusing all of my technology points earlier in the campaign uh, based solely on infantry. Okay, so now my guys are moving around a little bit. Uh, they're going to put up a fight at least here in Norway. Which will be good. Uh, I do have automatic deployment on at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to need to build some more convoys as well, which good. We do have those queued up. Ottomans are asking for more lend lease, which I'm not going to give them. They've taken all of uh, India over here, which has <laughs> really helped out uh, the central powers. If we go to diplomacy, we are winning the war overall with 37% of the victory points. The Triple Entente has 33%. So we're barely winning. I will take it. I will take it indeed. Okay, and you can also see um, Small Rebellion right there. We'll take care of that easily. Berlin will take care of that. Okay, so my men are moving around, which is good. They do have supplies as well. We were able to take Oslo back. So we should be able to beat back this uh, invasion pretty easily. Production, yeah, new convoys and escorts still on the way, although a lot of my convoys are being taken out. Um, we also need to make sure we're still producing a lot of interceptors. So I'll order five new interceptors there. And we'll put that on automatic, uh, automatic deployment as well. And then, also, we can start queuing up light armor. So, I want to build ten tanks. Oh, I can't. Whoops. Can I build one tank? No. Interesting. Manpower cost. We have the manpower. Um, hmm. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, things... Uh, Things going a little bit better for us here in Norway. But the British... The British keep... Uh, God, I swear. They've got, like, crazy Air Force. Crazy Air Force. 
and I can see them sort of peppering over my skies, but uh, I, I am scrambling fighters as I can in order to try to fight those off. Somebody mentioned in uh, the last episode Spain might be an easy target. I think so, uh, potentially. Uh, they are drifting towards the Triple Entente, which is disappointing. Uh, let's also check up on Italy. Italy's coming towards me, so that's good. Crazy, man. Crazy. All right, and we do have new... Okay. Excellent. We do have new um, attacks going on here in Norway. Election 1927. Cool. I don't think that really affects me at all. We've got huge manpower supplies, too. Huge manpower. Um, air wing. Let's go ahead and produce another set of five fighters there. Bump the supplies down a little bit. New escorts and convoys on the way. Now, I, do, I did just pump out a bunch of escorts. So that should protect my supply lines. Let's go. Yeah. Not a problem there. We are able to supply through Oslo. Um, so we also have to tell Bitburg HQ here to take the new capital of Stavanger. I'm going to Bitburg HQ. Cancel your... Cancel your obsession with Oslo for the moment. Get on down and conquer the rest of that, please. Very nice. Um, I almost want to. I almost want to. Uh, uh oh. The British were storming our base here in Netherlands, but we took care of that really quickly. Yeah. Now we're shifting around troops like crazy trying to figure out what the hell just happened. So that's going to be pretty much the rest of this campaign, I think, is uh, people trying to invade me here and there. I also want to queue up some additional uh, infantry units. So three infantry and coupled with an artillery. Get one of those. We'll get five of those, actually. Munich HQ is saying they need a shitload of mountain infantry. Let's go ahead and produce some mountain infantry, then. Three mountain brigades and an artillery brigade. Oh, I can't. Huh. No mountains, huh? Positions have been scouted. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. Well, in that case, um, we'll just uh, continue to, to build standard infantry. Yeah, there we go. Upgrades boost those up a little bit to 14. Consumer goods can go down slightly. And, uh, God, so retarded. It does look like things have sort of crawled to a halt here in Norway in terms of us taking back that territory, but um, not a huge deal. I just don't want Japan to hold anything over here so they can start landing st like crazy stacks on me. Munich HQ, only 270,000 men. If I go back to the production tab, Bitburg HQ needs a shitload of transports. Some mountain infantry, some garrison units, and more infantry units. Well, those are on the way, guys. Don't worry. Finishing up the escorts now. Yeah. Cool. And then... Uh, my new Air Force units will be right behind that. If I got a flotilla here... Should we try to build some subs? We'll build some more submarines. 
get those queued up. And then, of course, we'll build some more convoys to just resupply those. And some escorts. Just to come in behind all of that other production that we've got coming in. Order those up. Queue them up. Let's go. Why aren't we moving? Um, okay, we've got a new invasion. Yeah, we took care of that really easily. No problem oh there. So while we're still dealing with Norway here, um, I'm almost hesitant to make any new invasions, a.k.a. Spain or Sweden or Finland. Um, I do. If we take a look at the theater map mode here, yeah, it's going to be Bitburg HQ's um, responsibility to invade Sweden, potentially Finland as well. So Berlin HQ, I can almost reassign some troops, I think. Heavy stacks over here, so let's see, 133k, two cores under it. First Army Reserve. I'm going to go ahead and put you under Bitburg HQ there. So reassigning a bunch of troops away from Berlin HQ. Yeah, down to 633,000. Yeah, I want Bitburg HQ here to have primarily most of my troops. So yeah, they're now up to 822,000. They're at about 700k before. Oh, spies from Denmark have managed to escape with our technology. Those assholes. Total assholes. Okay. So I've got new interceptors that have come out now. That hopefully are working to fight off that British Air Force. New infantry. Subs. Escorts, etc. <laughs> Look at the production need. 420 to build all of those at once. It's kind of crazy. Consumer goods, we can bump that down slightly. Mm -hmm. Reinforcement, we can bump that down. And I'm just going to leave the supplies where they're at at straight up 90. We do have, oh, we've got uh, an incredible amount of supplies handy here in the stockpile. So, why don't we actually move that down slightly. Put a bunch of our IC up into production. Make sure to keep those consumer goods up. There we go. Okay, so we are losing supplies now, 205 every day. Well, we can afford to uh, let it sort of slip ever so slightly. Minus 190 every day. Whoops, that's way too much. Yeah, I'll leave that at 60 or so. Cool. I do have interceptors like all over the country. If we go to the air map mode, we've got pretty good coverage, except in southern France. Doesn't look too good in southern France, but I've also got coverage up in Norway. If I go to back to the air wing here, interceptor, carrier, air group, scout, huh? It looks like we've stolen a British unit for our um interceptor model it's pretty cool technology if I go back to aircraft here twin engine aircraft we start building bombs bombers we'll put that on air launch torpedo we'll put you on twin engine aircraft but it looks like the other yeah my other techs as far as aircraft go are completely full so 
Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, National Unity, still at 73%. Not too bad. Yeah, and you can see my supply stockpile is really taking a hit now. Minus 66 every day. Bump this up ever so slightly. I want to find a happy medium just to keep it like at breaking even. That should be good right there. At about 90 or so. Uh, bum. Okay, we're done with that for now. The British still fl um, flying air raids over me. If I go to diplomacy, what is... Great Britain's United Kingdoms, they're at 47% surrender progress, probably because they took a beating over in India. Just an absolute beating. Positions have been scouted again. Seventy three thousand now in supplies. That are sort of hanging out. Uh, plus, that's sort of all over the board. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Uh, consumer goods need to go back up. And if I go back to supply map mode here. Yes. Norway is still supplied appropriately. Come on, man. Get in there. Take back Norway, damn it. ASAP. Let's go. Seven hundred and twenty seven thousand men there. You know, I can stand to give um I could stand to give some more troops over. Over across to the Western Front. I think I'm going to give uh, this entire section here over to Bitburg HQ. It's like 300,000 men. There we go. Yeah, 1.1 million men now over there on the Western Front. It only brings down Berlin down to 410,000, but that's okay. I don't need... Uh, I don't need a ton of troops over here by Russia. They've, they've sort of chilled the fuck out. Um, if I go to diplomacy. Yeah, here we go. White Russia. Sort of in the middle. They are drifting towards us. Way more so than the uh, Triple Entente. I don't even think they're showing as drifting towards the Kami turn. Yeah, so since this is a mod, this doesn't really apply. Kami turn doesn't really apply in this game, I guess. Come on, come on, guys. What's going on with uh, Norway? So retarded. It's the freaking AI, I guess. Um, I'm going to leave Brest as an objective. Just to help guard against any potential invasions from Britain. Got heavy stacks over here. Um, what do they need? They, they need a bunch of transports... They need uh, mountain men, which I don't think I could build those last I checked. If we go to armored car. Let's clear this off. Go to armored car. Can't build one of those. It's disappointing. Uh, can I build armor? Light armor? No. That's disappointing too. I wonder why. Why can't I? Somebody help me in the comments. Why can't I build the light armor unit in this? Hmm. That sucks. I'll have to do some research and figure that piece out for next episode. New infantry units coming up as well. They are still showing as needing some air support as well. Uh, 
If I go back to... Yeah. Back to Bitburg HQ. Tactical bombers. We need some tactical bombers for sure. Technology. Yeah, let's go ahead and queue up our twin engine aircraft techs. Basic bomb. We're going to want to be able to build bombers. Tactical bombers at least. If I go to air wing. Yeah, nice. We can build tactical bombers. Build five of those just to start out with. Cool. Still working on finishing out our infantry and our submarine units, but uh, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks again for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you've enjoyed my content, and we'll catch you again next time.